Well, welcome to our very last unit, Unit 12, Angle Relationships and Transformations. We're going to do Lesson 12.1 on Angle Relationships. You've worked very hard so far all this semester. You deserve a, a big round of applause. All right, let's get to this. We're going to talk about some special pairs of angles in this first uh, lesson. Uh, starting with the idea of what we call complementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles whose sum of their measures is 90. What that means is if I have two angles, I add up their measures, I get 90 degrees, they're considered complementary angles. One is a complement of the other. Okay, notice it's spelled with the E, not with an I. Supplementary angles, very similar in that there are two angles, again, but this time the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. So if you have two angles that add up to, their measures add up to 180, you know you have supplementary angles. One angle is a supplement of the other. So what I'm going to do right off the bat is I'm going to tell whether these pairs of angles that I have in this example, I'm going to tell whether they're complementary, supplementary, or neither. So all I really have to do is add their measures. So in the first pair, if I add the measures, I'd see 0 carry 1, that's 90 degrees. These guys are complementary. Alright? Now, on the second set over here, if I add these up, 0 carry 1, 190 degrees. So this one is neither. They're not complementary, they don't add up to 90. They're not supplementary, they, they don't add up to 180, so they're neither. This last example here, if I add the angles, I get exactly 180 degrees, therefore these are supplementary. So that's not a difficult concept, you just have to kind of get used to the terminology here, complementary and supplementary angles. Now one thing about complementary angles, because they add up to 90, and we know 90 degree angles are right angles, if we have a drawing, in this case in this next example, where we have a right angle, we know that these two angles combine to 90 degrees. That means these two angles are going to be complementary. Now we know one of the angles is 51 degrees. We're asked to find the measure of angle 1. That's this angle right here. Well, if both of them add up to 90 degrees, then the measure of angle 1 would be 90 degrees minus 51 degrees, which is 39 degrees. And that's the measure of angle 1, 39 degrees. Add 51 and add 39, you'll get 90 degrees. Similarly, Instead of a right angle, if we have a straight line and we have a third or an extra ray here drawn in so that we form two angles, angle one here, which is the angle we're trying to find, and this angle which is given, because they form a straight line, these are called a linear pair. They form a line, linear pair. These two angles combined are 180 degrees. So if I have one uh, at 148, I can find the other. By subtracting, these two angles are going to be supplementary because they add up to 180. So the measure of angle 1 would be 180 minus 148, which is, and i got to do all sorts of borrowing here, 2, 3, 32 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 is 32 degrees. Okay? So if you see this right angle or you see this line set up, you know you're talking about two angles that add up to 90 or two angles that add up to 180. Now, the last example actually goes with this definition here of what vertical angles are. Vertical angles are uh, when two lines intersect at a point, the angles that are opposite of each other. Now I've got a little drawing here, hopefully you can see this. Angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical angles. Angles 1 and 3 are vertical angles. They are formed by the intersecting lines, but they don't share a side. They don't have an adjacent side. They have a, the same vertex, but they're opposite of one another. And the really cool thing about vertical angles is um, they're congruent. Angle 2 and angle 4 have the same measure. Angle 1 and angle 3 have the same measure. That's a really important one because you see that all the time in geometry. Now let's look at this example up here. I have two intersecting lines. I have angles 5, 6, 7, and 8 here. I have that the measure of angle 5 is 140 degrees. So this one here is 140 degrees. And you're asked to find the measures of the other angles. Well, if angle 5 is 140 degrees, so is angle 7, because they're vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent. 
Now, if you look at angle 5 and angle 6, ignore 7 and 8 right now. Just look at angles 5 and 6. It's kind of like this. I have a linear pair. I have two angles that add up to 180. This is going to be 180 degrees. So angle 6 is 180 minus 140, which is 40 degrees. So that means angle 6 is 40, therefore angle 8, because angle 6 and angle 8 are vertical angles, angle 8 is also 40 degrees. So in this case, the measure of angle 6 was 40 degrees, the measure of angle 7 was 140 degrees, and the measure of angle 8 is 40 degrees. These are very special pairs of angles. Got to get used to this, so practice, practice, practice.